Welcome to Comics with Dan. Uh, let's talk about Free Comic Book Day. So I made a list of the free comic books on League of Comic Geeks, so we can just go kind of write down the list and I'll talk about what's kind of interesting meme and uh, what to kind of check out whenever you get there on uh, on Saturday. So the first book is Absolute Power. It's an absolute must for any DC fan. Uh, it's got it's that big event that's coming out this year. Uh, it's kind of the culmination of all this Amanda Waller stuff and Failsafe and House of Brainiac stuff. So there's definitely going to be some important stuff in there. Uh, I'm excited about it because uh, it's got the Mark Wade, Dan Mora, uh, Tamara Bonville and team on the book. So if at the absolute worst case scenario, it's going to be gorgeous to look at. Um, so this should kind of set the stage for all of that. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, the Curse Library looks pretty good. I don't know too much about that one. Uh, we'll see if I'll, if I'll grab it or not. I don't know anything about asterisks, but Paper Cuts usually does some pretty good free comic book day stuff. Uh, the 10th Anniversary Boom special, um, that'll be cool. Uh, for whatever reason, there's a cover reveal coming soon. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm kind of wondering what they could be looking at, looking for, for a cover reveal. Uh, I'm interested in this Bardo one because I like Big Barda from the uh, Justice League International series. And um, and uh, it looks like it might be kid-friendly as well. So uh, we'll see if the, the kids will enjoy that one. Um, Barkham Asylum, definitely kids-friendly, another DC one. So uh, I'll be grabbing that for sure. Uh, Blood Hunt X-Men number one. So this is going to be the prelude to Blood Hunt, uh, the big Marvel event of the summer, and as well as the post Krakoa era uh, X-Men books that are coming out. Uh, so we'll we'll see kind of what that's about. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll grab it or not, but, you know, it's free, so why not? Um, I'm probably going to blur that out because of the language um and then we've got conan the barbarian which i mean the titan series for conan has been i mean by all accounts everyone's loved it so uh, i think this is a great opportunity to check out uh kind of how this is going to look and maybe go back and find some stuff for uh conan the barbarian uh, the Cursed Verse, uh, I'll be getting the Encanto book uh, for uh, definitely for the kids. And obviously, I love the movie Encanto. It's a fantastic film. And uh, the, like I said before, Paper Cuts does really good free comic book day stuff. Last year, they had a Smurfs book. And like, like I mean, I just enjoyed the book as a whole. But in terms of the the paper quality and the binding, it, it was actually just a really well put together book. So that was kind of cool. Uh, we've got Doctor Who, number one. Uh, so uh, I've never really gotten into that stuff, but I know that there's a huge fan base out there for that. Uh, the Energon Universe special. Uh, this is probably my most anticipated one of all of Free Comic Book Day because I have a feeling that we're going to get some crossover between... Uh, Transformers and Void Rivals and all this great stuff. So uh, we've got I Lie Popeye. Um, I mean, that seems pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Popeye's fun, so can't hurt to check that one out. Uh, there's Far Cry. Uh, never really played that game. Uh, Flash Gordon number zero. I think that's a Jeremy Adams book. Uh, I think because there was a joke that he was doing uh, Flash Gordon, uh, the Flash, and then uh, Jay Garrick, the Flash. So he's doing all these different Flash books. Um, so I'll probably grab that one. Plus, again, I need to get into Mad Cave because I, I just see great book after great book coming out from them. And I, uh, I just haven't put any in my pull list yet. So I need to make sure that happens. Uh, so we got a couple other things here. Gotcha Man uh hellboy and stranger things a cool little crossover um in case it wasn't obvious i'm looking at uh i'm looking at the the same list on my other screen here uh investigators they usually do it's kind of interesting they usually do a uh 
free comic book day book but i never really see any of their regular comics i'm wondering if they're like the sort of straight to graphic novel type things um johnny quest number one um so i have uh future quest burning a hole in my short boxes over here and uh i've been meaning to read it i just haven't gotten around to it but uh i think that this johnny quest one should be pretty cool as well uh, Max, Meow, Katie the Cat Sitter, another couple of kid ones. Uh, we'll see if I'll grab those. Mad Magazine, uh, Maleficent number one, uh, which I thought already happened, but um, maybe it's just like a little preview for it uh, to get people into the sort of the Disney Dynamite stuff, which by all accounts has been pretty good. I've I've read, uh, you know, the, like the Darkwing Duck and Justice Duck stuff, Negaduck. Um, and so uh, I've got faith in dynamite to get the disney stuff going pretty well uh marvel and fantagraphics present the atlas comics library just that cover looks fantastic so by that alone i'm definitely going to be grabbing that one uh, i've got marvel voices for free comic book day monster high uh, one piece I've got pokemon romeo versus juliet uh, I'm not sure that that one's going to be one that I'm going to grab. Uh, Snoopy, which I will definitely be getting for the kids and myself. Uh, Spidey and His Amazing Friends. Uh, this is, I think, the third year that they've done this one. Um, it's. I'm hoping that they get some new stories in it because uh, we kind of already have <laughs> the other three, the other two, plus the Halloween special they did. Uh, Young Jedi Adventures. I haven't gotten into this one too much. Uh, the show that is. Um, just because I'm waiting for the exact opportune moment to introduce my kids to Star Wars so that they enjoy it, um, but they're you know the the appropriate age for it and everything. Um, Star Wars, Darth Vader number one. Um, this could be sort of the the way to get into the Star Wars comics. Uh, I've read a handful of of Star Wars comics. There's a bunch that I do like, but uh, I don't I don't really read them consistently. I'd say uh street fighter versus final fight number one uh we got teenage mutant ninja turtles i'm definitely gonna get that because with the new uh with jason aaron on the book now uh that should be interesting and uh this will hopefully give us some insight as to what his run's going to be about uh the loud house the night librarian the overstreet guide to collecting comics we'll probably grab that one uh, it's got sand on the front of it i guarantee you one of my kids is going to grab it the valiance so this is um the Valiants were huge in the 90s, and, and so I'm hoping that this will sort of bring that back. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, the Worlds of James Tynan the Fourth. Uh, this has got all that Slaughterverse stuff in it, I'm sure. Uh, so, Tons of Strange. This looks really great. Um, it's just got that kind of goofy-looking horror art on the front of it that I'm, I'm hoping will translate well into the book um so that one looks pretty cool uh ultimate universe spider-man number one so this one has a story leading up to the it's it, the solicit says something about the goblin and now we know it's the spider goblin uh which i mean i'm not so sure about that but it should have some interesting ultimate universe stuff in it uh i definitely need to go back and read um ultimate invasion and ultimate universe to get sort or get sort of caught up um I had some interesting discussions today on uh on the league the the league uh community boards uh talking about about that and i kind of arrived at the fact that uh i i should probably read those to get a better gr grip on what's going on with ultimate spider-man um ultra duck uh that just looks super cool grabbing it i uh, got a couple unicorn things here. We've got Whispers from the Voyage. Uh, so this is uh, from Eric Williamson uh, from the League of Comic Geeks. Uh, and I know that uh, he, if you get on, get on the League, he can uh, point you in the direction of how to get your, your free comic book uh, from him. And then we round it out with uh, Witches of Brooklyn. It says fun activities inside. So that'd be cool. Uh, hopefully your local store is doing some great sales. Uh, hopefully if you don't read comics that you go out and get
get some free comics so you can start getting into them. Uh, don't listen to anybody. It is not at all frustrating and not at all expensive to be a comic fan. Obviously, I'm joking. It can get very expensive, but if you just pull the books that you like, then it. Um, if you just pull the books that you like, then uh, you, it, it ends up not costing too much. Plus, there's lots of other resources. You can go to libraries and read. Uh, reading digital can save you a lot of money, uh, and then that way you can keep your pull list to you know a certain amount. But yeah, I, I love Free Comic Book Day because uh, it it gets new comic book readers out there, uh, and that's the only way that you know, we'll get to keep the, uh, the comic medium going as if people are out there reading them. So, uh, thanks for watching everyone. And, uh, if you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe and check out these other videos I have on my channel. Thanks for watching.